Christy asked me to be her maid of honor, I was touched. I felt privileged that she had chosen me to be a part of her special day. When I first met Christy, she had this sweet and warm feeling. And I knew that this was the perfect person for my soulmate. William and Christy are a perfect match. We all know that William is William. Enough said, right? Especially since we know William and how special he could be, right? And then we all got to give it up to Christy because she's the one woman that can manage him. And that's a tough task. I'm especially glad to be here on this occasion to celebrate this wonderful day with the one of my best friends, my brother, William. When William first asked me to be his best man, I was extremely honored and proud to be by his side, as he was always, always been there for me and has always been an important part of my life. We went to the same middle school, the same high school, the same college, we worked together, we were roommates, we were classmates, and even carpool mates. We were truly soulmates. Christy is truly a great compliment to you. But with your loving heart and a nurturing heart, you'll be just fine. Marriage is not about finding that person you can't live with. It's finding about that person you can't live without. So friends and family, welcome to the biggest event of the year.
So when he found Christy, sharing was over. So we've all been invited here today to celebrate the union of two very special people in our lives. William San and Christy Doe. They are perfect for each other. Where William lacks, Christy perfects. And my friend, you definitely found that person in Christy. In the years that they have been together, I can only say that their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured. And I am very happy that they have decided to start the next chapter of their lives as husband and wife. The thought of having a new sister-in-law who will bring joy and success to our family made me feel grateful. Life is about making memories. William is very lucky to have found such an amazing person to share the rest of his life with. So when Will and Christy asked me to officiate their wedding, I was like, holy moly, what am I going to do? What do I have to say? What should I wear? But most importantly, I wanted to say that I'm truly honored to be able to marry them today. My greatest wish for the two of you is as years go by, your love for one another will only continue to grow with much success, health, and happiness. A successful marriage is not something that just happens, right? It definitely takes hard work. It takes patience and it takes time. It takes a commitment from the both of you, a commitment to do whatever it takes to make your relationship thrive and not just simply survive. Today is the first step of your new journey together. As you begin this chapter of your lives, remember all of your yesterdays have led you to today and your love will lead you into tomorrow. Five and a half years together and I can't tell you how much we have grown together and how easy it is to be with such a comfortable, honest, and open man. William, I fell in love with you for your unselfish qualities, abilities, your charm, your smile, and most importantly, your positive outlook in life. I want to keep this short and sweet, <laughs> much like you, um, the love of my life. I want everyone to know how much I love you and will love you for the rest of our lives. There's a quote from a book that I once read. It said, I no longer believed in the idea of soulmates or love at first sight, but I was beginning to believe that a very few times in your life, if you were lucky, you might meet someone who was exactly right for you, not because he was perfect or because you were, but because of your combined flaws were arranged in a way that allowed two separate beings to hinge together. I believe the true testament of our love is and will be written on our faces. Obviously, no one is perfect, but with our strengths and weaknesses, we are perfect together. You regularly, regularly <laughs> remind me to watch for wrinkles for that I love you. The fact is, for every wrinkle I have with you creates a forever moment I will share with you for all of eternity. William, you are so many things to me. I promise to be the best wife I can be for you. I will love you forever, laugh with you when times are good, tell you to stop talking when you talk too much, and of course, lift you up when times are tough. People strive to fight the age of time and the wrinkles that read aloud that time. Here written on my face is a story written by our love 
joy and happiness. I love how you work hard at everything you do. Your dedication to not let people down or disappoint anyone literally burdens my days. You always told me that everything you do, you do it for us. And you're right, you do. And I cannot be more proud of the man that I love and who you have become. The life we've shared and will share with each other without end. From the million smiles and endless laughter, these laugh lines are witnesses to our happiness. Thank you for honestly loving me the way that you do and for providing me with everything that I physically and emotionally need. And I would not trade the story written on my face for anything, as it was written by you. I promise to love you and support you and stand by your side for the rest of our lives. I vow to give you everything I have in my heart and my soul and everything. My love, my companion, my author. You have chosen each other, joining together through all of life's seasons, not just for today or tomorrow, but for all times, even those that may be troubled and difficult. I give you this ring as a sign that I choose you. To be my lover, my partner, and my best friend. To the end of my days. Wear this and think of me. And know that I love you always. And know that I love you always. So William, do you take Christy to be your lovely wedded wife to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, listen to her, rub her feet after those long days, and gladly mop the floors and clean the toilets? When she asks, as long as you both shall live? Do you take William to be your wedded husband to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, pick up after him? Let him eat all of your leftovers, yes, every little scrap, and allow him on days that he wants to be lazy to just stay on the couch for as long as you both shall live? Take each day and cherish your moments together. Love and stand by one another through the good and bad. Put your love and your family first, your job and hobbies second. May your love be like the wind, strong enough to move the clouds, soft enough to never hurt, but always never ending. By the authorities vested in me in the sunny state of California. So let's raise our glasses and give a toast to celebrate this memory. So here's to love, laugh, and happily ever after. I would like to pronounce you both husband and wife. To the happy couple. Mr. and Mrs. William Sass. Cheers! So, Will, actually, hold on a second. You might need this. Okay. Oh, you too, you too. Okay. <laughs> so, William, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. Begin with Raymond and Talvi. Team and Jenny, right? 